You know, food trucks these days, I mean, they come in every shape, size, form, offering all different types of food, chefs with all different kinds of background. So I'm here in the Santa Barbara area, and I'm hearing about this barbecue trailer where the chef, well, he's using a stick burner, but the dude is classically trained. Well, the thing that's kind of weird is he's only open two days a week. Two days a week and he's getting this kind of recognition? You know I got to check it out. This is the Chef's Touch barbecue rig. Brisket sandwich up for Vivian. Kurt pays attention to every single detail. It's all in one brisket. It is just the most incredible barbecue you'll ever have. All from the back of a souped up rig towed by real deal chef turned pitmaster Kurt Aldridge. You're bringing in old school low and slow barbecue on the stick burner. Yes. That is the least easy thing in the world. I serve two days a week. It takes me the rest of the week to get ready. You're an animal. Let's do a whole hog. The ultimate whole hog, it's always a favorite. We got bacon, sausage, and pork. Mouth watering goodness. What is the dish you're making? This is for the whole hog. You make the bun, you make the bacon, you make the sausage, you make the pulled pork. Yes. Making the dry rub for the pork butt. This is a brown sugar. Kosher salt. Vietnamese pepper. Vietnamese pepper? Vietnamese. It's hot. Be careful. Fresh ground is what I love about it. Garlic powder. So this goes what, 24 hours? 24, 48. Then we let it air dry in the refrigerator overnight, and then we hit the smoker. And what are we smoking with? 100% almond wood. What tempo are we running at? 190 for about 12 hours. Low and very slow. Wrap it in Texas peach paper, put it back in the smoker for another six hours until it comes with 180 degrees. Next step. Mojo Criollo. Red onion, garlic, orange juice, lemon juice, lime juice, oregano, salt, and a little bit of oil. All right, kids, great drink. Are we ready to shred? Hit it. Look at that bark right there. Great smoke on it. When we add this to it, it really brightens the whole thing up. The acid, the orange, the garlic, the little kiss of the oregano balances out the sweetness and the char and the smoke. Delicious. Next up, what do we build? Sour sausage. Let's go. Fermento. It feeds the bacteria that causes the transformation from nitrate to nitrite. Out of my pay scale, Chef. Dextose adds another level of tanginess. Cayenne pepper, Korean red pepper, coriander, dry mustard, Vietnamese pepper, caraway, paprika, salt, granulated garlic, a little pink salt. Mix this up with some pork that we grind in house. Now we'll go into the sausage casing, twist them up, put them in the refrigerator overnight, and then smoke them in the smoker. 190 for six hours. If you don't have enough work, why don't you make bacon? Oh, you are. Salt, Vietnamese black pepper. No kidding. Pink salt, a little sugar. How long are we going to let this dry, Brian? Five days. Then it's going to go in the smoker. Everything's 190. Four to five hours. Cool it, cut it. What do we got going? House made barbecue sauce, some oil, onions in the pan, a little garlic, apple cider vinegar, tomato paste, not starting off with a ketchup base. You're going to just no. chef this thing all the way through. Brown sugar, Worcestershire, liquid smoke, salt, allspice, ground cloves, dry mustard, Vietnamese black pepper, cayenne. A little water, simmer it for 15 minutes, and then we're going to blend it up. Bacon's done, sausage is done, and the bun you made. Yes. Pickled veggies, carrots, cauliflower, a little turmeric in that. You make your own pepperoncinis? Yes, we actually grow those. We have a local organic farmer. I'm out. <laughs> House-made sriracha mayo. Yeah, there we go. We split a sausage link. Some of the pork shoulder with yeah. the Criollo sauce on it. House-made bacon. Oh, man. That's all you need to serve, bro. <laughs> that gives me goosebumps. Bacon's delicious, rendered enough. When you're working with such few ingredients and such simple equipment, your discipline and your expertise have to be spot on which they are. This is high-level barbecue. Whole hog sandwich up for Jeff. Pork is perfectly cooked. It's good spice, but it's not overpowering. The flavor of the smoke, that's my favorite. 